The source of this discovery was among populations in Asia, where hepatitis B and liver cancer are prevalent. The World Health Organization estimates in Asia, liver cancer caused by hepatitis B is one of three major causes of death in men and a major cause in women. One-fourth of the two billion people worldwide infected with the hepatitis B virus eventually develop liver cancer and die. Scientists in Hong Kong had been studying samples of liver tumor cells and found that some of the cells contained high levels of a variant of the protein carboxypeptidase E, or CPE. At the same time, scientists at the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development, just outside Washington, D.C., were also studying CPE and also identified the same variant, now called CPE Delta N. Dr. Pen Lo is a neuroendocrinologist at the National Institute. We found that what's in cancer cells is in fact this uh, variant form. So there we got together and uh, we started exploring this protein as a, a cancerous uh, protein. The scientists in Washington injected tissue from the Hong Kong liver samples into mice and confirmed that when CPE Delta N was present, there was a strong likelihood the cancer would metastasize or spread within two years. First of all, I would like to look at your neck. CPE Delta N has also been identified in cancers of the head and neck, colon, and breast. Preliminary tests indicate it may also be present in thyroid cancer. In all, Dr. Lowe says there could be as many as 14 types of cancer where CPE Delta N is found. So we're very careful that we will say each one has to be tested in its own right, but I think that it looks like it might cover quite a few. The researchers say the discovery could change treatment options for patients, especially those identified as having stage one or two cancer and who carry CPE Delta N. We feel that those are the ones that we can help the most because they were the ones that were told most likely you won't get recurrence, let's not treat. So if we catch those, uh, then we have saved some people's lives. The study was published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. Melinda Smith, VOA News.